We headed over to Foci Minnesota Center for Glass Arts to learn how glassware is made and watch two of their glass blowers create these two glasses from scratch. If you would like to add these two to your collection, follow us on social media and make sure you're signed up for our email newsletter list because we're going to be giving these two away. OSI is a nonprofit organization that was established in 2009. We're dedicated to serving our community and teaching about glass arts. We also rent our facility to artists to make their work since this equipment is too cost prohibitive for most artists to have as a home studio. FOSI teaches uh, a full range of classes, anything from the one hour, come try it, uh, see if you like the material, all the way to multi-week classes where we bring in international artists to teach master level technique. When I introduce people, it doesn't take much. Glass is, is really magical to everyone. When we're at the state fair, we have people that watch our demonstrations for hours, you know, just trying to figure out how that material moves and works. You watch this process of this liquidy material go from malleable and movable into a solid form within moments. The dance between heating up that material and working with it and coordinating with partners in sort of this silent uh, process. The more experience you get, you really understand, you don't really need your partner to tell you what you're doing. You, yeah, you really dance with each other and figure out, uh, you know, what step they need you to perform. The person who's sitting at the bench and gathering the glass, they're referred to as the gaffer. That would be the artist who is responsible for that piece of artwork. Um, their partner will help shield them from the heat, you know, apply a paddle to create like a flat bottom on a piece, uh, present them with maybe additional bits of glass they need, say for a handle, something like that. So I think it's sort of a misconception that you need a lot of air to inflate the glass. When it's really hot, um, you'll see the artist today, they'll blow in the pipe and cap it with the end of their thumb. It will be real fast, but it just traps air in the blowpipe and then it, ex it will help expand that bubble. So it's a very small amount of pressure uh, if your temperature is correct that it takes to inflate glass. Both of our furnaces just hold clear glass. Uh, artists have to add the color to the clear glass. You buy colored glass in a couple of different ways. You can get it broken down in these little pieces. You can buy color rod. We'll do some color application today with a process called frit. It's just broken down pieces of colored glass uh, and you roll the hot glass in it. The color sticks to the outside. You know, you create layers to get the depth of color you want and then melt it all together. The color of glass comes from different minerals. Uh, many of the really high-end glassware, particularly reds, are made out of gold. Um, you can apply silver to it, and obviously that is reflected in the cost of the glass. Thanks for checking out FOSI Minnesota Center for Glass Arts. You can find out more information about our rental and classes at mnglassart.org.